Hello and a big welcome to the intermediate course of Easy Design, which is the second course. My name is Richard and I will be your trainer in this course. And the first lesson in the course, we will cover the basics on how to import a JPEG or a PDF drawing into your project and use that as a template. To have this option, is very helpful. It will save you a lot of time when building a floor plan and it will also help you create very accurate and detailed floor plans. And I'm going to go through all the steps on how to do this. So first of all, I've selected to create a new project. We're going to select a name and I think you remember these steps from the beginner level course. Let's call this sample floor plan 2. Then in my second step, I select the project type and in this case we're going to import a PDF or JPEG so I'm going to select from drawing then we have the project settings where you set the defaults of your layout and I'm going to change the ceiling height to 5.2 meters as my default I'll unmark baseboard as well go in and select the colors textures materials for this floor plan and let's pick a color for the walls and I'll select one of my most recent ones a white color then we go in and select the ceiling type. I'll select one of the standard ceilings. And finally, floor type, we'll do an industrial floor as my uh, base or default here, concrete floor. Now we're gonna click on create project and that will open up my computer and I can find on my computer the floor plan that I would like to use. And in this case, it's a JPEG floor plan, a sample one. And we'll click open and that will bring it into easy design like this and uh, and there are a couple things you need to learn here before we do actually the tracing process one is i normally i normally unmark the grid because that makes it a little bit cleaner and easier to see the floor plan but that's up to you just click on the show or not to show grid option then the second thing which is very, very important that you have to do is to set a scale for this floor plan, for this template. Because when you bring in a PDF or JPEG, it's in no scale. And uh, normally on a drawing, if it's a commercial drawing, you'll have the scale set down to your right and we can use that when we calibrate. But I don't have that in this case. So I actually need to measure a distance in the floor plan. And I know that these doors, which are industrial doors down here, are three meters. That is the correct scale. So I need to calibrate my floor plan here. And the way I do that is I go up to the blue button here called Calibrate Scale, click on it, go back into the floor plan, and I'm going to left mouse click where I would like to start to measure. And I'll start measuring right here, left mouse click. Then you move your mouse in a direction and finish where you would like to finish the measurement click again that will open up a set scale menu and here it sets, says set length of measurement in meter in this case so I'm gonna type in three meters click OK and you see something happen here it actually calibrated the scale of the entire drawing so now we have the correct scale so we are actually ready to start tracing this floor plan so I'm gonna make sure I'm in the room tab then I click on the draw room button and then I can start anywhere, but I'll choose to start up here. Left mouse click, and we can start moving. If I would like, I could of course change the, the width of the, the walls, but I'm just gonna use this measurement, that'd be fine. And I follow the drawing. And if you remember from the first class, the walls will try and snap to the grid, even though in this case it's invisible. So if I need, I can also hold down the shift button to make a more uh, precise placement if needed. But I'm just going to continue to trace this quickly. Left mouse click, follow. In this case, I'll hold down the shift button, follow the lines, and I'm going to go through that process right there. So now we closed it up and it actually lets go. If I would like, I can zoom in and adjust a wall like this by holding down my left mouse button. I'll even make it like that. Perfect. 
So you can always calibrate afterwards and adjust any wool like that. Perfect. Okay, so we have set the outer perimeter of the walls here and we can go up and click on a button called show hide image here and see what we've done so far. There we go. This is the floor plan I've actually traced out the e uh, for easy design, the easy design floor plan. If I click show hide image again, we bring it back. And we can of course continue and adding more walls. Left mouse click, trace. Click, move. If we need to adjust a little bit, just do that either on a wall node or along a complete wall. I'm going to complete all the walls here and come back and start showing you how to add the gaps. So now I've finished up all the walls and once again click on the show height image and we see the floor plan that I've drawn out here. We'll bring back the floor plan. And, but before we go forward with the gaps I'll open up the 3D so we can see what the work done looks like so far. We'll zoom out so we can see the full floor plan. Perfect. Looks good. And let's go back to 2D. Now it's time to start adding the gaps, the doors, the windows, and if needed, openings also. So we go to the second tab and select the doors in this case and select, we'll do this one, the open door one. And then you go into the floor plan, place your mouse over uh, a gap, double click, and if you need, you readjust uh, the swing by holding double clicking. But in this case, I didn't need to do that. If we need to change the dimension, you can do that, of course. Maybe the door in this case should be one meter. Perfect. Double click somewhere else to add another one. Double click again once it's in place to rotate the door to change the swing. Do that again. Perfect. Double click, double click again, and again, and again. There we have it in a good position. If we need to make that door a little bit wider, we'll change it to 1.1. Perfect. Double click again. Perfect. I'll show you also how to add a few windows. So we'll select a window, go up here, double click where I would like it to be, click again to readjust the dimension or the width and so on. So we do 1.2 in this case, actually uh, 1.3 should be the correct width. We'll send that up mm, two meters and we'll send uh, the, select the ceiling, uh, the height of the window to maybe one meter. Perfect. So 1.3 in width, one meter in height of the window and we brought it up two meters on the wall So we for the altitude. Then since the these two are the same. I just double click next to it and we'll place it perfect and keep the dimension that we typed in from the start. So that is how you do it. We'll go over here, select some more. And I think these look like two meters. Perfect. All right. We'll do a quick look in 3D so you can see what that looks like. Our first gaps are in place. We'll zoom up again so we can see that. Here we go. Those are the five windows and we have the doors over there. When we come back, I have added all the gaps into place and we can see the finished result. All right, so I've finished adding all the gaps into the correct place. Um, we can show hide the floor plan again. So we bring back the ESA design floor plan and hide the PDF or JPEG in this case. If we go up to the 3D view, we'll see the complete finished result. Here we go. All the gaps are in place exactly the way I would like it to be. Perfect. All right. So that is how you import a PDF or JPEG and trace the floor plan. So the important steps uh, is of course to bring in the floor plan and to set a scale, a 
proper real scale using the scale tool. And then you simply trace the floor plan. And remember, if it snaps to the grid when you're adding the walls, you can hold down the shift button to, to move freely, to start wherever you, you would like, and also to move freely. And uh, that's it. All right, thank you very much. All right, so I have finished adding all the gaps into the correct place. If I click on the show hide image button, we can see the finished floor plan in easy design with all the gaps in the correct place. I'll take you into the 3D view so we can see the end result there as well. We'll zoom out so we can see it from above. So you see we've added uh, the doors, the windows, the industrial doors, of course, also. And it all looks exactly the way I would like it to be. So as a recap, uh, the important steps when you work with the template option in Easy Design to import a drawing, such as a JPEG and PDF, is to, of course, from the project menu, select from drawing. Then when you bring it in, remember that the drawing that you bring in is not to any real scale. We need to set the scale using the calibration tool in Easy Design. And then after that, it's simply start tracing the floor plan and you can hide it using the show hide image to see the easy design uh, result in 2d or to see the pdf so you can trace it easily uh, finally remember the shift button uh, which allows you to uh, drag out walls freely if you don't hold down the shift button it will try and snap to the grid even though and in my sample here i chose to hide it but it's always active so remember that all right thank you very much and i'll see you in the next lesson